what's going on people this is glendon cameron once again with how to make a living without a job decided to bring some of the research that i conduct things that keep me motivated to you this floated across my desktop this morning dr dre gets 500 million not 50 not 500,000. A 500 million for Beats earphones when we're using this is a liquidation moment essentially Dr. Dre and this guy own Beats and there's probably some other part well there's definitely other partners now because it was a equity firm that came in but you know you're looking yeah that's what Jimmy you know, music entrepreneur and the chairman of Interscope Geffen Records, you know, next to David Geffen. But back to the original point. Dr. Dre's had a killer career, but what I want to emphasize to you is he's made more money since he started the Beats things, which was by uh, Monster Cable. They actually came to him and said, hey, could you make some like premium headphones? I don't even know how was it his ideal or not, but he took an ownership position, which is the most important thing here. He took an ownership position. He didn't do it on consignment. He didn't do it on spec. He didn't say, hey, I'll make these headphones and uh, give me a check and I'm out. No, he stayed on board. Actually, he and... Um, Spent 150 million to get Beats back because they had sold part of the company to someone else. Well, long story short, he has made more money since 2010 up to now, which puts him right here. That's like it's like 175 million dollars. But this, this number right here, the majority of this came since 2010. Now, I want you to think about that. This didn't happen with, you know, NAA and Death Row Rec. No, 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 no. This happened in the last four years. This has happened in the last four years. The majority of that. I mean, he was probably worth 30, 40, maybe 50 million before then, which is awesome. But what I'm trying to illustrate and what I'm trying to point out to you is this is the power of being a creator, being a owner. Let me say that again. This is the power of being a creator, being an owner. Because I put up a video some months ago. You know, I was talking about, you know, being you know, a creator, being an owner versus being a cog in someone else's machinery all the time. And, you know, some people's like, you know, what's the part, you know, the deal of selling third on sell you know what's the deal with selling on third party platforms i'll be the first to tell you 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 can become stunningly wealthy selling on third party platforms but you are not going to reach that number selling on third party platforms you're not going to reach that number selling on third party platforms it's not going to happen why because you are a cog in the machinery. Now back to Dre, because you know, I'm not a big music head, and I've really I don't have any beat headphones. Don't know the difference between them and other headphones, but I do know business, and I saw that they did some licensing deals because it's the, it's the premium headphones, it's the earbuds, and they did a joint venture with I believe. HP a comeback because I do remember seeing the Beats emblem on one of their laptops while I was in Best Buy one day. So he has totally created a whole new wealth stream for himself in the last four years. Now, the ticket to get into the big dance came from Death Row Records being Dr. Dre 
Uh, he created Eminem. He he did all of this stuff. But the thing is, this because of the distribution, because of the price points, because I did do a quick search. They're not cheap. So, and they're not manufactured here either. I think they're selling actually. I don't have to guess. I can just uh, go to Google and go to Beats because I, I, I want to be factual on this because, you know, people are like, uh, you know, Glendon, you know, you missed a comma. I feel better about myself. Let's see. Okay, there we are. I, like I said, the casually look, but look, you've got these, 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 and let's see, let's do this. I think this is pretty cool, too, when you really think about it. Go to my favorite place, because I have Prime membership with Amazon, because I order so much, because I, I really don't do a lot of stuff on eBay anymore. It's kind of rare, unless there's just something... I really need. Let's see. Okay. Let's uh, kind of bring it over there, so you can see that. Two ninety nine. Um, One ninety nine. Don't know the differentiation, but see, I'm gonna explain something to you. Two ninety nine, two ninety nine, um, one seventy eight, and I think replacement. Let's go here. I am going somewhere with this. I am. Trust me. Trust me. I will not lead you down the rabbit hole and uh, leave you abandoned, but. The deal is, the point I was going to make was about price points. These headphones are do not cost $299 to build. I'm going to say, just off the top of my head, with the information I have about manufacturing, because they're made in another country and they're shipped here, maybe I'm going to put a price point of, because they're mass produced, $15 to $30 per. It may cost more, almost as much to ship them over here with all of the fees and everything as much as they are to produce. So let's just say they're in at $60. Then, okay, wholesale, you know, depending on who's the, if Beats is supplying this to Amazon, then say the wholesale cost is going to be $120, $150. Yeah, okay, yeah, this, these numbers are kind of adding up because uh, they're selling for $299. And, you know, maybe they're a hundred wholesale cost or a hundred bucks and then they're, they're tripling their money. But the whole point is he created this thing. And I've heard, you know, I'll look at some of the reviews. I've heard some people like, oh, they're not that good. Um, from where I sit, I have seen too many people rocking these all over the place. And I know for you folks like, oh, be saint. And that save your comments. That's not the, uh, the focus of that. Here's Wow. And apparently there is a beat culture. This is this is um, crazy because the thing is, when you develop a product that has a culture, then it is, it's going to have some very long term profitability because people, you know, dude made the video. And it, he it's four it's four stars. So you look at that. But my whole point is, and one of the things I'm trying to get people to understand is when you take an ownership position, a creator position, and understand when they got started, this wasn't like all, I mean, there was all kinds of crazy stuff that happened with NW. It wasn't an easy road. There was a lot of drama. There was scandal. So much with the music because Dr. Dre and uh, Ice Cube they really haven't gotten any type of trouble or had any legal issues on the criminal tip. I would not be surprised if there was legal issues like in civil court, contract disputes, things such as that. But 
I'm, I'm trying to impress on you. Look at these 175, 367. You don't get to these numbers being a third party access point. Now, let's just crank it down because these are examples of people who are stunningly successful, stunningly successful. You know, this this is crazy money. Like I said, this was a looking nation moment. What I mean by that is that the partners, whoever else is in there, Dre and this guy, when that 500 million came in, they took money off the table and put it in their pockets because they sold piece of the company to this other company. So. You think about that. A few pen strokes and a big ass check, five hundred million. And you know, a lot of people like okay, and let's talk about this. I look at celebrity net worth, but also I have enough of uh, financial literacy to know that these numbers are not true. They're an estimate because see, this is the thing. Like take someone like Bill Gates, who is now worth like seventy two billion. That's kind of estimated on, you know, stocks and other things. But see, this is the thing. Every seriously wealthy person that has a good financial team, they take stock money, sell stocks, you know, it's what's called like a defined selling plan. And they take that, convert to cash, and then they convert that cash to other assets. There's a lot of things you can do legally that you just can't track. I mean, the Department of Justice is still going after Swiss bank accounts. I mean, they just really ramped it up. Because this thing they did recently, it was kind of like an amnesty program and it raised five billion dollars. Now, this is the thing, because the uh, Department of Justice leaned on the Swiss banks. There was forty five hundred account holders, American citizens, forty five hundred. And from this push from the you know, Department of Justice being a heavy and the people who said, okay, you got me, they got $5 billion. 4,500 people. Tells you there were some billionaires in that group. There was a lot of billionaires in there because, you know, that's the way the machinery works. That's the way the system works because I laugh when they say they're going to tax the rich. I, I totally laugh, but I'm getting off point. But back to if you, you know, let's let's just... Bring it down to a more mundane level. I know a lot of people worth between two and ten million dollars who are not 89 years old. Uh, one guy I know, I think Bill might be 39, and this is self made. I, I know for a fact, I, I know what the company started off as. And you, right there, whoever you are, who are you're listening to this. Starting today, I don't care if you're 20, 30, 40, 50, if you start a company and you work your ass off and you do the right things, it is very possible, very, very possible for you to have a net worth of 1.5 million to four, three, you know, four million before you're 65. And this isn't your house. Your house may be part of it, but the real juice comes from a business because you know, investing is great if you know what you're doing, but nothing will bring money into your life faster than the business of service that serves a lot of people. This is the whole deal with Beats. They serve a lot of people worldwide. Beats is international. Do you get that? They're freaking international. This is incredible when you think about it. This thing, this device. Now, let, let's let's really talk about this. Let's go a little deeper. Because there's this book by Dan Airely. It's called Predictably Irrational. You don't need headphones. You want headphones. Understand that. Now, I want you to really, really think about what I just said. Because people are like, yeah, yeah, Glenn and I know you don't need it. No, no, no. You're missing the point. Here's an item that people do not need that is selling so well that a company said, hey, we want in. Here is five hundred million dollars. Cash, because we want a piece of the action. 
That signifies faith in long-term profitability and growth on an item that people do not need. What I'm saying here, and I'll break it down for those of you who are scratching your nuts, scratching your heads, or maybe tweaking your nipples. If you come up with something and then go ahead and say, "Uh, I don't know if people are going to need this or want, you don't know. Come up with it, develop it, do your market research, and put it out there. Put it out there. You never know what you're capable of doing until you step forward and str- you know, swing for, swing at the ball. You don't know. But hopefully this motivated you because when I saw this, I was just like, oh, this is freaking awesome. This is freaking awesome. Because I like to see people like this make money like this. Because there's another thing. This is... Um, enters the level of generational wealth. You know, Dre's married, he's got kids. His grandkids, grandkids, grandkids are going to be set up from what's... Because see, this this is going to grow. This is going to grow. When you get this type of money, you could throw $100 million in some type of very safe, conservative investment that'll grow for centuries centuries you you, you got to understand so look at this and think to yourself what can i create what can i make what can i do because i mean these are headphones these are headphones look at this guy look at these words producer entrepreneur and chairman it's all about being in a position to receive a significant chunk of the proceeds because I you know you know in my video the creators and the producers the guys behind the scenes the the Jimmy Ivins or Irvings whatever his name is the George Lucas the Steven Spielbergs the guys who are behind the scenes make way more money than the people in front of the camera or on the mic you don't believe me i'll 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 show you real quick you 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 you, you're not believing me we all know who tom cruise is right he we some of us grew up with tom cruise now remember these are just estimates 250 let's talk about that tom cruise has been making money longer than dre Risky business was in high school. He's been making money. 250 million. Dre has eclipsed him by 100 million. And I'm going to tell you something else. Dre's going to go up. I don't know what's going on with Tom, but you know, let's do this. All right, we got Tom Cruise. Let's go with someone we all know about because, you know, this is the thing that blows people's mind. Everyone has heard of this guy, he's a producer, right? Now, okay, <laughs> I had I've never looked it up before, but I knew it was going to be significantly higher than Tom Cruise's. I knew it was going to be significantly higher than Tom Cruise's, way higher. Let's do it again. Let's do this. Um, do 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 do. And so that's another thing. You know, look, let me just hit that. Go back up there. Do, 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 do. Do I need to say any more? You could put, let's see, who's, who's really, who do I really like? Someone that I really like. I think she's cool. I always loved her work. Everyone knows who she is. Yeah, we'll do this. Now there's um still a lot of work, right? Seen everywhere. She's been out for years. Now, part of this is she has a production company. Because I do remember that 
She is in front of the camera, but she's also behind the camera. Let's do this. What's her name? Who who is? Ah, someone else. That's been out a while. Who is? I guarantee it's going to be way less than uh. It'll be significantly less than um. Yeah, now this is what she's doing performing. Now she's been with the Sex in the City thing. She had that going on for a long time, but just to tell you, let, let's take someone else. Oh, now this one may shock you because it shocked me. Because the thing is, when people are doing things, you don't know where they are in the food chain. But I looked this one up before. And this may explain <laughs> some of the behavior. Now, let's see. Uh, hold on. Let's get out of there. Yep. Now, 43. Yeah, those, those is earnings. She's earned half of what Sarah Jessica... Parker is worth now the other part let's go back here to and the girl is still going she's what because they put her earnings in like 200 bucks but you know she is 23 I think let's see I think she's, tw I mean, she's young. She's crazy, crazy young. But she's been out for years. Yeah, she's 25. So, you know, you have that kind of loot coming in. And you're 25. Could make some interesting commentary. But I want you to just think about this. When you're uh, sitting there at your desk. And understand. All of these people that I'm talking. Dre, Eminem. They all started off with nothing. They started off with nothing. I don't know this guy's uh, backstory. But the right chair to be in is the creator or the producer chair. If you can be in the creator or producer chair and you want to get in front of the camera or you want to be an act, that's cool too. But the real action is behind the, is behind the guy behind the mic and is behind the camera. Because uh, here's someone else that we know. Everyone knows who it is. He's produced a lot of people. Let's see. Oh, no. I think. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's go with that. You know, this is a guy that's done a lot. Now, dude's like 40 some years old. He was working and well known in this industry. Okay, he was born in 1971. He's not. Well, yeah, yeah. Um, he's there. He's 40. He's 40 something. And uh, yeah, he was doing this. He was working in this industry when uh, Rana was like crawling around in diapers. So it just tells you, you know, he, you know, understand 80 million is great. You know, if I had 80 million, I would not be mad at anybody. Well, the, the point I'm trying to make is, you know, he made this by being working for people in a lot of joint ventures. When you get to the position where you are in that commander seat, you know, Captain Kirk, the captain's chair. When you're in that sucker. Bam, bam. All right, this is Glendon Cameron. Hopefully you were as entertained as I was, and I will see you on the good side.